welcome to Avatar Technology Digest. Every Monday we're bringing news on technology, medical cybernetics and artificial intelligence. Every week we keep you posted on exciting scientific breakthroughs from around the world. Meanwhile, we'd like to start our weekly digest. Forget the Apple Watch, forget the Pebble Time. What you really need is a wristband that gives you the power to control an army of scary-looking drones. Intel CEO Brian Zanich put in a simple Curie-powered wristband with motion detection, which then let him commandeer four robot spiders. Curie is destined to be embedded in wearable technology. It includes an accelerometer and gyroscope, which are what it uses to detect the arm gestures when you want to move the spider. The device then transmits set comments to the robot via a Bluetooth model. Beyond bracelets, it could be embedded into jewelry like rings and patterns, fitness trackers, allowing embedded devices to become even more seamlessly a part of your lifestyle. This week, the terminally ill 30-year-old Russian man Valery Spiridonov announced that he will become the subject of the first human head transplant ever performed, saying he volunteers to have his head removed and installed on another person's body. Earlier this year, Italian surgeon Sergio Canavera outlined the transplant technique he intends to follow in the journal Surgical Neurology International and said he planned to launch the project in June, where he will invite other researchers to join him in his head transplant dream, what is predicted to be a 36-hour operation requiring the assistance of 150 doctors and nurses. The cost of the 36-hour operation, which could only be performed in one of the world's most advanced operating theaters, has been estimated at $11 million. The new body would come from a transplant donor whose brain is dead but otherwise healthy. As a lifelong sufferer of rare genetic Wernick Hoffman muscle wasting disease, Valerie says he wants the chance of new body before he dies and is ready to put his trust in doctor's hands. Dr. Canavera has named the procedure Heaven. He insists all the necessary techniques already exist to transplant a head onto a donor's body, but 2016 target for operation is pure fantasy, says critics. Dr. Canavera and Mr. Mr. Spiridonov have talked via Skype. They have not met yet and the doctor has not reviewed his medical records, but if successful, his pioneering procedure could give new hope to thousands of paralyzed and disabled people. American scientists hope that orbiting robot spiders could be used to piece together a spacecraft under a new NASA-funded project. Researchers believe that the spider's fab system could be used to build radio antennas, spacecraft booms and solar arrays within the next decade. The futuristic new system SpiderFab has been developed by a company called Tetheris Unlimited. The system uses arachid-like droids to construct large objects in orbit around the Earth or further into the solar system. Scientists see the robotic spiders helping humanity toward a long-term goal, sustaining mankind as it travels across the universe. At the heart of this ambitious project are the space spiders, a multi-armed robot capable of making many of the structural elements needed for the build. In a perfect world, if funding flowed and the contracting process didn't drag on forever, scientists think that could be able to build very large support structures for antennas and solar arrays and those sorts of components in the early 2020s. Something very cool was revealed at the 2015 Experimental Biology Conference in Boston. The biomedical company Organova showed off its technique for 3D printing human kidney tissue. Kidney represents an ideal extension of capabilities to 3D bioprint organ tissues that can be tremendously useful in pharmaceutical research. Organova prints organs in much the same way, putting cells in as bi-ink and then printing them in layers, initially held together by hydrogel until the cells grow together. So far, Organova's 3D printed liver tissue is used for preclinical drug trials because the tissue responds like a real-life human liver would for 42 days. That's much longer than the single layers of cells previously used in tests, which wilt in a few days. Organova has been working on printing functional human tissue since 2007 and first printed a cellular blood vessel in 2010. Since January 2014, it has offered bioprinted liver tissue for companies to use in drug trials and disease modeling, and it looks as though its bioprinted human kidney tissue will be used for the same tasks starting sometime in the latter half of 2016. Here is all for Avatar Technology Digest. Thank you for watching us. You're more than welcome to subscribe, follow us on social media. See you next next Monday.